This is it, the moment that I've been waiting for for a long time. I've been wanting to put these two multi-tools head to head against each other for a while now to see whether the new Hilti multi-tool can take down the previous king of multi-tools from fine or not. I have no idea. I've not pitched these up against each other yet before. This video is where we reveal the true strengths and weaknesses of the Hilti multi-tool. Because you may have seen us compare it to a DeWalt multi-tool or a Makita multi-tool in the past, even a Milwaukee multi-tool, but those are all fairly cheap and basic multi-tools and they aren't really a like-for-like -like comparison with this Hilti one. For me, Fine has always been the king of multi-tools. I had this for a long time, used it, it's been great, but since the Hilti one arrived, I've just barely used the Fine. And I wanted to put them side by side and really give a true test to see which one is better. We're gonna find out in this video, but make sure you like and subscribe because we've done a whole load of comparison videos of cheap versus expensive tools and also premium versus premium tools to give you guys an overview of what are the best tools out there for electricians. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. So a quick overview, this is the new Hilti SMT 6-22 multi-tool. It's been out for about a year now, so it's not actually that new, but it's new for Hilti and it's something that, as far as the Hilti lineup goes, is very new and something that people have been waiting for for a long time for Hilti to re reveal a multi-tool, which they were working on for years, apparently. And I have done a full breakdown video of this so you can see all of its in-depth features. I'm not gonna go into that too much in this video. What I'm gonna do really is do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Fine. So for the Fine, this is the 18 volt uh, Multimaster 500. It's got an 18 volt lithium ion battery, three amp hour. So to compare the battery sizes, this is a three amp hour battery. The standard smallest of the Neuron batteries is what I'm using with the uh, Hilti multi-tool. So it's two and a half amp hours. So similar in terms of size. Now, in terms of weight, they are very similar. I'd say maybe the Hilti is slightly heavier with the Neuron battery. Certainly the Neuron batteries are quite heavy compared to the fine ones. Uh, Size-wise, they are very similar, as you can see from that over the head view. They're very similar in size. Maybe the Hilti is slightly longer, but there's not a lot in it. That's what they look like, like that, side by side. They're, they're very similar in terms of the way that they're built. The grip on the Hilti is slightly thinner than the fine one. They both got a switch on the top. And importantly, they both have Starlock uh, connections for the blades. So Starlock is a really nice snap-on, snap-off type system. So with the fine, you just pop the blade in, flick that down, lift up like that to release the blade. The Hilti one, exactly the same fitting. It says Starlock Max, and this says Starlock Plus. I have no idea what the difference is between the two, but basically you twist that and you get rid of the blade. And then to put that back on, you just twist it and it sticks in, right? Now, for comparison's sake, I'm using the exact same blade. Now, I am using the Hilti blades. They built their own Hilti multi-tool blades to go with it. I don't know whether Fine even make their own blades, um, but I thought the safest and fairest comparison would be to use Hilti blades. And we're gonna do a wood test first and then we're gonna do a metal test so that we can put them up against each other in terms of wood and metal. Now, they both have different speed settings. So the fine one has this rotational setting here. So one is fairly slow, six is full speed. With the Hilti one, that's full speed. And it goes down to one like that. So we, we're gonna compare them on the same speed. In terms of the oscillations per minute and stuff like that, 11,000 to 18,500 per minute on the fine, okay? 11,000 to 18,500. Interesting, so the Hilti has 10,000 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. So the range of speed is actually broader 
on the Hilti than it is on the Fine. Not by a huge margin, but it is definitely a slightly broader range in terms of speed, so that is interesting. Let's get into a speed cutting test. And first we're gonna use some wood and we're gonna cut through the wood. So we're gonna do a time test. So it's the same person using this, a different tool and we're gonna see which one's faster. We're gonna start with the Hilti and then go from there. Okay, that is really fast. Now we're gonna try the fine. Still pretty fast, but I have a feeling that the Hilti came out on top. So pop the readings up on the screen and we're gonna do another test just to make sure that there was no, no cheating there. We'll try one more time. That's definitely quicker, I think. Let's try again with the fine. Okay. The fine is definitely slower, I think. However, because this only has 11, 000, eight, uh, 18,500 OPM, and this has 20,000, I think this is going faster. So if we slow this down slightly, I think down one notch, that's probably gonna be the same speed as this. So let's try it again on this side and see if, if they're doing roughly the same OPM, if the speed is the same. That was still really quick. <laughs> Well, that is interesting. To be honest, I doubted somehow that the Hilti would be able to beat the Fine because Hilti make all sorts of power tools. They're not multi-tool specialists, whereas Fine, they really are. So I thought Fine would smash it out of the park. But on this test, it looks like the Hilti has won. However, what about cutting metal? Let's give that a go. All right, so we're gonna take the blade, the wood blades off. And we're going to do exactly the same with Hilti. We're going to put uh, metal blades on. Now, I must admit, I have used this one a couple of times because I used it on the previous video. So I'm going to give Hilti a slight disadvantage on this and I'm going to use the slightly used blade on the Hilti. And then I'm going to use the newer blade on the fine. There's not much difference, to be honest. It's only been used a couple of times, so it shouldn't make that much difference. Okay, so have our blades on. Pop a couple of screws into this wood. So these are hardened steel screws. So we're gonna cut through those. And we're also gonna do a test with nails. Right now, in terms of speed, I'm gonna go on the slowest speed on both of these tools. Now the slowest speed at Hilti is 10,000. Slowest with fine is 11,000. So I might need to notch the Hilti up slightly. Let's listen to the sound and see if they sound similar. Okay, they're both about the same OPM now, I can tell from the, the sound. So we're gonna do a speed test now. I'm gonna cut that and that with the Hilti, and then I'm gonna cut that and that with the Fine and see which comes out quickest. That was pretty quick. That is very, very interesting. So exactly the same blade. This sparked quite a lot, which surprised me. And it definitely took longer with the fine, which is, is, is mad. That is really mad. So what a surprise. Hilti smash it out of the park with their new multi-tool, which beats the fine in a side-by-side -side test. Now, obviously I've not tested it on plasterboard and loads of other different materials. You might be able to pick apart my test and see where I've somehow gone wrong. Let me know in the comments if you think I have, but 
I am pretty impressed with that side-by-side -side test, to be honest. And I think that this is gonna go on eBay and I'm gonna be hanging on to this for a while because it is fast, it's nice to work with. You know, and we've not talked about the ergonomics or anything, but they both feel similar in terms of comfortability to work with and stuff. There's a few things that I don't quite like about this, like it's a little bit square edged, um, but you know what, the speed with which this works is incredible. And I think Hilti have done amazingly to bring out their first multi-tool and for it to basically beat the best of the competition. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you like these tool comparison videos, we've got a whole load of other ones which will be up here. So sit back, settle in and watch a few more and make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you do want to find out more about the tools, there'll be links in the description below which help to support the channel, Amazon links, etc. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.